dude? I don't know. It's my car. The call came from a coworker of Michael Chad Breinholt's girlfriend, who expressed concern that he was intoxicated and had taken a large number of pills. So what's going on? Are you girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. I got a phone call from him while I was here, and he just told me that he took like eight or nine pills. Yeah. That's a lot. And then yeah. um, that he was going to die soon. Do you, do you say he was trying to hurt himself or anything like that? Yeah. No. He just, it seems like he just wants to commit suicide. Do you think that's what he's trying to do? Did he say that to you at all? No, he just said that he took all those pills. So Officer oh, Atkin and Officer Lane administer a field breathalyzer test. Your lips around the tube and blow. Like 162. Um, you told us you drove here. Yeah. Officer Lane searches Brian Holt and handcuffs him. You got any weapons in here? I didn't drive here though. Do you have any weapons? No. Hey, listen to me. Do you have any weapons or anything? No, I didn't drive here though. They arrest Brian Holt on suspicion of driving under the influence and take him to the police department. <laughs> When asked for his ID, he gives his brother's name. Just as I suspected, you are Michael, and your brother's name is Chase. So that's a class A misdemeanor for giving somebody else's information to a police officer. That's sad. About 45 minutes later, Brian Holt falls to the floor. So a lot, a lot of uh, drunk people have peed on that floor. I'm not sure you want to lay there. He's on the floor for more than 11 minutes as the officers wait for a medical crew. The fire department arrives. They determine Brian Holt's vital signs are normal, and they leave. The officers don't mention his mental state. Okay. Okay. That's all we did. Thanks well, for the help. <laughs> okay. What do we got? Sergeant Tyler Longman shows up to help the officers process a warrant for Brian Holt. Yeah. What do we got on this cat? So DUI. Please move, please. Please move. We, we informed him it would be a felony DUI, and minutes later his heart started hurting. While in custody, officers threatened Brian Holt with a felony DUI and two other charges. So probably a true case of felony. Yeah. Shortly after, Brian Holt says he wants to go to a psychiatric hospital known as Uni. I want to go to Uni. Uni? Yeah. Well, maybe maybe so, you can go to Uni after Michael, you're in jail. Let me, let, let me tell you this right now, okay? I'm not going to sit here all night and play games with you. You've already wasted our fire department's time by having them come out for some bullshit, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not taking you to Uni, I'm taking you to jail. That's where you're going, okay? So, kind of bullshit. Oh, I wouldn't do anything. No. You're not going to jail. At this point, Brian Holt has been in custody for almost two hours. Okay. We got some business to conduct here first. It's going to take about an hour. Right now. Smart. Yeah, that's what the like. Even though he'd been searched, Brian Holt says he has a weapon. Sit down. Oh, sit down. I got a gun in my hands. <laughs> okay, good try. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Okay. The officers don't take him seriously. Is there a gun in your shoe, too? Sit down. Sit down. Is a gun in my shoe? Okay, sit down. There's a gun in my shoe. Okay, sit down. All right. I'll get the gun out. You sit down. No, I'm going to sit down. Okay, stay seated. Sit down my seat. Okay, good job. Thanks for sitting. Gun in my seat. Stay down. Okay. Stay seated. All right. You don't want to fight with me. You definitely don't want to fight with this guy. Just sit your ass and stay. Okay. You're not letting me go. No, we're not letting you go. We told you it'll still be a few minutes before you can go anywhere. Before we go to jail. Tell you what, give me your shoe. No. Yeah. No. Not giving you my shoe. A scuffle ensues. Longman watches. 